السلام عليكم كونتينيو uh, uh, clear your doubts about Islam uh, we reach it to the point saying that don't all world religions have similar objectives don't all world religions have similar object objectives there are many areas in which religions agree but there are also significant theological and practical differences between them again there are many areas in which religions agree but there are also significant theological and practical differences between them undeniably it is not denied uh, one will find in every religion expressions of wisdom high moral values warning against evil promotion of good work of good works but what distinguishes islam from other faiths is that it goes beyond simply urging people to be generous and morally upright islam identifies human problems and prescribes practical solutions to them both individually and collectively although there are a variety of religious communities in the world each of them content with its own version of the truth islam represents the completion of divinity revealed religion and the finalized legal code for the mankind and for this reason the quran states verily the religion in the sight of god is islam inna dina indallah islam verily the religion in the sight of allah is islam it is in chapter 3 verse 19 the divine message the divine messages revealed prior to that the prophet muhammad all called for the worship of god alone and contained some legislations however each of them was addressed to a specific people at a specific period of time in order to remedy particular problems and circumstances such as moral degeneration uh, economic injustice and excessive materialism or misuse of power and political oppression uh, the final message of islam addresses these same social evils but as part of a comprehensive program for uh, 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 the amendment reform and the and benefit of every nation community and individual that will exist until the end of the world again again this is very very important to distinguish it is uh, quite uh, known that the divine messages revealed prior to the that prophet muhammad may allah exalt his mention uh, all are called for the worship of god alone and uh, and contained uh, some legislations however each of them was addressed to a specific people at a specific period of time in order to uh, uh, remedy particular problems and circumstances such as moral degeneration, uh, economic injustice, excessive materialism, uh, misuse of power, political oppression. The final message of Islam addresses these same social evils, but as a part of a comprehensive program for the amendment, reform and benefit of every nation, 
community and in individual that will exist until the end of the world. The Prophet of Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, launched an era in which divine guidance became openly universal, more comprehensive in scope and precisely detailed. The responsibility for man's fate and moral well-being depends completely on his own free choice and willing, intentive to respond to the invitation of the creation. Again, the Prophet of Muhammad, the Prophethood of uh, Muhammad, Uh, launched an area in which divine guidance became openly universal, more comprehensive in scope, and precisely detailed. The responsibility of man's fate and moral well-being depends completely on his own free choice and willing His willing and completely depends on his own free choice and willing initiative to respond to the invitation of his creator. We have solved this point which is don't all world religions have similar objectives. I'll join with it the other one, which is, do Muslim worship God or Allah? One of the biggest misconceptions about Islam concerns the name of Allah. Uh, some people believe that Muslims worship a different God called Allah. That God is different uh, than the Christians, Jews, and others. And some missionary organizations distribute literature in English in which you say in which they say such things as Allah is the God of the Muslims and Muhammad told the people to believe in the God Allah they thus imply and reinforce the idea that Allah is someone is some sort of false deity This is totally incorrect because Allah is the same word that Arabic-speaking Christians and Jews use for God. If you pick up an Arabic Bible, you will find the word Allah wherever God is used in English. So Allah, it is in any religion written in Arabic. If you pick an Arabic Bible, you will find the word Allah, wherever God is used in English. Allah is also the proper name of God. And therefore, Muslims use the name Allah even when they speak other languages. Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the exalted, is a special word. It indicates the only entire the it indicates the only entirely in existence he and amat him is the only entity in the in existence who truly possesses the qualities of divinity and lordship again allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a special word uh, indicates the only entity in existence, who truly possesses the quali qualities of divinity and lordship, the creator and sustainer of the heavens and earth. It is the name of the only being worthy of worship, the one upon whom all creation is dependent at every moment. And this name belongs to God alone and no one else. Allah is the only word in the Arabic language equivalent to good, 
to God with capital G in English. It is also a unique word grammatically since it cannot be made plural or given a masculine or feminine gender. It's very important. Allah is the only word in Arabic language equivalent to God. But in order to be God, the correct God to be created in English, it should be capital letter G and it should be single. So it's equivalent to God with capital G. And it is a unique word grammatically. Why? Since it cannot be made plural or given a masculine or feminine gender. And this is consistent with the Islamic concept of God. In English and other languages, the word God, uh, small letter G, can be used in various forms, such as God, God's uh, uh, goodness, um, uh, Goddess, uh, all with different uh, uh, meanings. The only difference between God, meaning false deity or false God or any object to be worshipped, uh, and G uh, and capital letter God, the meaning of one true God, the only difference is the capital G. And thus, a more accurate translation of Allah might be the one and only true God, capital G, letter, first letter of the word. But this is another important point. There is another important point, which is that Islam is particularly concerned with the correct concept of God. Someone can have an someone can have an erroneous concept of him, whether he uses the name Allah or the word God, capital letter. Followers of previous religions gradually de deviated from the original pure belief in God. Due to the fact that their scriptures were not adequately protected from loss and alternation. None of these are still available for study in their original form or language. This is very important point. The very important point is that someone can have an erroneous concept of him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether he uses the name Allah or the word God. Followers of previous relig religions the followers gradually deviated from the original pure belief in God due to the fact that their scriptures weren't adequately protected from loss or alternation. And none of these are still available for study in their original form or language. But this is not true of the last divinity revealed message, the Quran, the Holy Quran. Hence, the accurate concept of God can be found therein. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect that uh, book by himself. He revealed, وَإِنَّ لَهُ لَحَافِظُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, we are protecting that book. So the, uh, 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 the alternation or changing is not true concerning the last divinity revealed message, the, the Holy Quran. Hence the accurate concept of God can be found therein. Okay, uh, we will stop to continue uh, next time uh, uh, by God's will, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.